Yo guys and welcome back to this new video here on the channel. On today's video I will be discussing the Ethereum price action where we are currently seeing this critical breakthrough of this resistance target that we have been talking about already several days here. So if this sounds interesting for you make sure to right away smash up these likes on this video guys. Let's go for 200 likes on this one. It would be amazing if we can reach it as well. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now here and turn on these bell notifications so you're not going to miss out on any of these further updates. So with this out of the way, guys, let me go right away into the price section because it's too, too interesting to, of course, uh, talk about different things right now. So yeah we have been yesterday and the day before already talking about this very critical level of resistance and since right now on today's candle guys we are seeing ethereum pushing above the 2300 us dollars this is looking extremely good and extremely beautiful because it's first of all taking up more territory compared to bitcoin and as well as right now of course breaking through this critical level of resistance what we can be first of all approaching as an inverse hand and shoulders and as well we can be approaching it as a symmetrical triangle so let me first remove this support of target on the lower side and let me discuss the, the significant inverse hand and shoulders that we have been discussing several times here. So on the channel we have been looking at of course this important inverse hand and shoulders uh, what we could have been creating over here. You can see over here um, left shoulder getting created over there, head getting created over here, right shoulder getting created over here and right now we're seeing of course this critical breakthrough of this resistance target what can be of course leading towards higher prices getting reached here. So this is looking like a beautiful inverse hand and shoulders and first of all you can see clearly a low getting create higher low getting create and then of course we're creating ones getting over here and higher low and since right now breaking through this resistance target you can see this that that this can be signifying of course amazing amazing move uh, to become here on the price action of ethereum this can be signifying that we can be seeing of course the 2800 us dollars getting reached here and since right now of course this four hourly candle is breaking outside of it you do want to be at least waiting for the four hourly candle close and of course the confirmation on this previous resistance line flipping into support and i mean even though if you don't like the significant scenario of the uh, um, of the inverse hand and shoulders, you can be approaching it as a symmetrical triangle because, yes, we have been as well forming a beautiful upward sloping support line with also more than three touch points here. And uh, since seeing this, of course, you can be, of course, approaching it as a symmetrical triangle. And since, of course, having such a significant yeah resistance target, it's just very likely already to, if, uh, to see um, if we're going to, of course, retrace towards this level to find support on it. So... As well, if you're looking to the price target of this significant, um, yeah, symmetrical triangle, then for instance, if you don't like the inverse hand and shoulder scenario, um, you can be looking as well for an exact, exact same price target around to 2800 US dollars. And that is, of course, beautiful to see here. And I definitely can't wait to see what we're heading towards. And literally, guys, on the same time, guys, I'm real quickly checking out my trade here because my Ethereum trade is absolutely going nuts right now here. I am over 160% currently in profit since opening my trade here on the 1700 us dollars what i have been announcing here on my twitter page so it will be very very amazing if you're going to of course uh, yeah, follow me as well here on twitter if you want to be staying up to date about all these updates that we are giving to you guys as well we've been already warning you guys that we are seeing a breakout with our price target as well getting uh, over here in front of your screen here on the twitter page so yeah make sure to already follow us at rover crc on twitter make sure to enable notifications over there as well so you're not going to miss out on any of these updates that i'm giving to you guys over here so yeah, we're looking to have a very beautiful breakout right now here. Price target, of course, sitting way higher still. And let me enable this real quickly to see, of course, the percentage uh, price target. It will be approximately a 28% move here. But of course, since the point that we're already trading on, it will be only another 22% move here. But for sure, this can be uh, yeah, signifying huge gains to be made here on Ethereum. I do think Ethereum especially is pretty undervalued right now. Like I have been warning you guys already several times about on the channel. And of course, missing out on your Ethereum right now is definitely another thing that I should be doing here. And yeah, it is just looking like a beautiful chart here. And it is just making me more and more exciting. And of course, right now I feel pretty bullish on the four hourly candles. But I've been already warning you guys as well on the channel that you do want to be, be bullish on the daily candles. Because... We have been, of course, spawning all these trend reversals on the lower time frames. We have been spawning all these trend reversals on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that has been making me sell myself a very successful trader. And I've been using the MACD quite a lot to, of course, determine the trend on the price action of whether it is Bitcoin, whether it is Ethereum. And 
Right now, we have been already warning you guys about it yesterday, but I just do want to be saying it another time here because it is just way too, of course, important to ignore this significant, um, yeah, bullish divergence on the MACD on the daily candles for Ethereum. And you can see right now in front of your screen, guys, we have been forming a lower low on the price chart where we have been forming a higher low on the MACD, giving us, of course, a bullish divergence here on the MACD. And basically, to give you right now a quick explanation here, these MACD candles um, are giving you, of course, a signal how strong these sellers are. Of course, the red candles are the sellers, green candles are the buyers. And you can see right now that the selling pressure is cooling off, whether the prices are still moving down here, giving us a signal that we are seeing, of course, this bullish diverge coming in here and that the trend will be shifting anytime soon here. Together right now as well, uh, with this higher... Um, higher high here over here going to create what is of course currently creating a bullish divergence since we have been setting a lower high over here so yeah it is looking like a very clear setup here and it is looking like a very clear opportunity that we're currently getting and i just want to be raising the awareness that if you're right now bearish it's fine of course you can be bearish whatever you want here but at least make sure to dollar cost average because otherwise you have not been buying on these cheap stages and i mean some people call me way too bullish here but i mean right now seeing these opportunities guys I will be just staying bullish here because I don't want you guys to get wrecked here. I do want to be, of course, gaining altogether in this market. And I do, of course, want to be yeah crushing the market uh yeah with of course buying up my my ethereum and bitcoin around these stages and right now giving uh, yeah right now all seeing these signals coming in here you do want to be on the right side here and um right now as well on the daily candles we have been seeing for ethereum the breakthrough of the 0 0.5 here in the Fibonacci chart, of course, the 0 0.618 here on the lower side has been the accumulation level for me. I've been accumulating around the 0 0.618 here since that was, of course, a beautiful level of support. You can see this is the 0 0.618 here. This is the 0 0.5, of course, that we're right now trading on. And we're currently breaking through this level. What is, of course, beautiful to see here on the four hourly candles. You can see several times found massive support on it. Uh, massive resistance over here massive resistance over here right now we're trying to go for another breakthrough so yeah does we does have to wait a little bit longer here till we're going to confirm this breakthrough but for sure um i do expect this um this candle to close it off it and this will be of course once again signifying higher prices to getting reached here for ethereum as well a very important thing to look at here is on the ethereum compared to use dollar valuation on daily candles and we have been already warning you guys several times about it um but as well it's not only of course the mcd that's looking good guys it's also the patterns that are of course unfolding currently on the chart you can see clearly a falling wedge getting created here with a beautiful, beautiful retest of this previous resist target. Uh, yeah, giving us a signal that we are just going to create more, vo more volatility towards higher levels here. Um, yeah, price target sitting still an 80% higher around to 4,200 US dollars, guys. We are going to reach this price target rather sooner than later. You will be probably um, be surprised by it. And probably all the people that are right now selling off their Bitcoin and Ethereum will be buying back higher. So please be on the right side and let me know in the comment section what you currently think of the market. I feel extremely, extremely bullish about it. So so uh, hopefully I can get some insights of you right now. But I mean, there are so many signals right now. Giving, I mean, there are so many things coming together and giving me the signal to be bullish on the market. So yeah, I love these times when I can be bullish where other people are saying we are currently in a bear market. I love it. I'm loving the gains. And of course, I'm loving the potential gains that we're going to make all together, especially. So guys, this was already it for the Ethereum update. Hopefully I enjoyed the video here and we'll check you guys in the next one. Goodbye.